Hello, my name is Jason Sheeran, and I want to welcome you to the Jason Verse. After an epic battle between Grindo and Cronus, the two tired fighters went their separate ways from a dormant volcano. Unknown to them, inside the volcano was an egg that hatched as they left. No one knows for sure where this egg came from, but when the scientist that created Cronus heard about this, he sent a team to collect the egg so they could study it. When the egg was shipped back to the lab, the scientist did some tests on the egg to see where it came from. After doing a series of x-rays, the scientists came to a shocking discovery. Inside the egg was a baby Giganotosaurus, just like Cronus. But how was this possible? Cronus is a male specimen, and he's the only one of his kind. Unless the Sauropastas can reproduce asexually? If that's the case, then why hasn't Grindo laid an egg yet? After a few days, the egg hatched and out came a baby Giganotosaurus that proved to the scientists that Cronus was indeed the parent. The scientists named the specimen Cronin and monitored him very carefully. The creature proved to be very deadly, more so than his father, and was forced to be put in a maximum security fence. Cronin also grew at a very rapid pace, and the more he grew, the more aggressive he became. Once he was fully grown, something terrible happened. Cronin broke free from the max security gate and killed the entire crew other than the scientist. He then stared at the scientist before going into the woods. The scientist followed quietly behind to further study the specimen. He would soon find out that the creature was hell-bent on finding and killing his father to show that he's the alpha predator. Cronus had no knowledge of this the entire time and spent most of it hunting down Grindo to try and kill him. It wasn't long before the two apexes found each other and began to brawl. However, their battle was rudely interrupted by a loud roar. Then out of the trees, Cronin appeared and he stared right at his father. The two Gigas stared at each other and Cronus was confused. Grindo was also confused and the two apexes looked at each other again before looking at Cronin. The new Giga let out a loud roar and charged at Cronus. Cronus roared back and charged in the opposite direction. Meanwhile, the scientist watched the father and son fight from afar and was astounded by it. The two Gigas fought, but Cronin proved to be much stronger than Cronus. Cronus the undefeatable was being, well, defeated. Grindo watched in horror as his rival was obliterated by this newcomer. He knew that Cronin was a threat and knew he had to do something, but what could he do? Grindo has a hard time fighting Cronus, let alone Cronin. Grindo plucked up some courage and charged at Cronin just as he was about to finish his dad off. The two fought and Cronin overpowered Grindo as expected. However, Grindo was able to distract Cronin long enough for Cronus to recover and join the fight. For the first time in Sauropasta history, Grindo and Cronus teamed up in order to fight a greater threat. Overwhelmed by the team up, Cronin retreated in anger back to the woods and swore revenge on the two dinosaurs. After that, Cronus and Grindo acknowledged each other before going their separate ways once again. The scientist was amazed by what he had just witnessed. Two rivals teaming up to fight an even stronger enemy than the two combined. An unholy alliance, perhaps. The scientist would continue to study the three specimens who would cross paths every now and then and fight. The scientist still isn't sure why Cronin is so hell-bent on killing his father, but one thing is for certain, there is a competition for power between Grindo, Cronus, and Cronin that will last for millions of years.
And that's going to have to wrap it up for this creepy pasta file. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Let me know if you want me to do more of these in the comment section down below. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. So long. What's going on, guys? Jason here with some big news. I have just opened up my very own merch shop. That's right. Today, starting today, you can buy your very own Jason Sheeran merchandise. Whether it's a t-shirt, hoodie, bag, mug, whatever you need, I've got. And if you order now, you can get 15% off your purchase at the shop. Offer expires December 10th. So hurry in and get your t-shirt, hoodie, mug, or bag today.